Hello there, and welcome to Cory Loses for a brand new preview playthrough in Thrawn's Revenge 3.3 as the Ariato Authority. So this is a new playthrough in a new map. We are starting off already in the map, but the map is called the Western Reaches Campaign. So it's kind of the, the southwest of the galaxy. So it's the Ariato Authority, the Empire, the New Republic, and the Ciruvi Imperium, who we are not playing, but hopefully we'll get to invade with some of the... Uh, with some of their earliest content. Their ship models are all very old, but their infantry are fresh and new. Uh, eventually, the ship models will be redone. You might end up seeing the current ones in the final release of Point 3, but eventually they'll get redone. But I'll talk about that when we get to them. So we are playing as Ariadu. We've got uh, about a 60 to 70 planet map. This is air progressive, and eventually you'll also be able to choose your starting era as well that hasn't been set up yet thank you the real cheesy for subscribing very appreciated but with all of these preview playthroughs one of the things i do is allow people who are twitch subs youtube channel members or patrons on patreon.com to name a ship for the playthrough that's what all these extra ships in the build bar are those aren't in the final release but if you'd like to have a ship used throughout the playthrough there's a link in the description of the youtube video uh going over how that works and what the options are but we, I think, are going to start by taking Glova because we have uh, poor Utapau that is all isolated. Let's get Pritik into the fleet over yes, there. Way. You can also see some of the changes to starting forces, how they are uh, generally a bit lower. Some higher defenses gives you a little bit more choice in how you build up at the start, too. But uh, also, thank you, Triton, for gifting Valerie a sub. Very appreciated. All right. So, we have an ISD on that. I don't think the independent forces are going to be that big for us either. Are there any new Ariato units in 3.3? No, I don't think so. I think they had their full roster done. There were one, of, one or two units in other rosters that weren't fully done for 0.2, but I don't think Ariato was missing anything. We literally just redid the rosters for them. We're not looking to re-re-redo them right now. All right, Ariadu Warlord Star. We got Regina. Shouldn't need too much more for just an acclimator. Uh, that is not going to kill us. No killing us. Okay, we're gonna throw in the Tap Calf transmission shout out around the world. HMCS Ontario, Triumph of the Skies. I missed my old Pelta. Oh, I didn't actually send in Triumph of the Skies. It's also Tarkin's Battle Barge. Not the Star Destroyer. I think I read that wrong. Gathering Storm. I can't click. Not the Star... Okay, it is not the Star Destroyer. Yeah, we're gonna give you up. Best two dollars I've ever spent. And that... Who knows what the other one is. We'll never know. Alright, so I think our, our first job here is going to be taking all these independent forces planets in the south while trying to build up for another couple units on some of our capital planet, or some of our capital shipyards. Uh, but I think Slew's fan, we will get... Intensifying forward firepower. And I don't know if we have any other shipyards, even lower level ones built right now. So right now, a lot of the starting forces are also uh, auto-generated. Eventually, we're going to be going through and manually setting up every starting force. But there's 600 planets. So we made an object that for any planet that doesn't have it filled out, uh, just generates the structures and units for that planet. Uh which is generally pretty decent at it, but it's not perfect. Okay, so we'll get some of our vehicles out here. And I think Dagobah is actually fully free. Yes. I'm not sure why the capital doesn't seem to have a build limit right now. Because we definitely have our capital on Ariadu. But uh, it's letting me build it everywhere else. We're not going to do that. 
have to be looked at. Okay. So, let's just go in, see if we can take Lova. Oh, we don't have any infantry on there. Uh, do we have a barracks anywhere nearby? Enlisting. Enlisting. Let's get Recruiting. those. And for the Runa invasion... Maneuvering. See if I can get both of those there first. That'd be cool. Please? Tactical no. Unit. It wasn't cool. Huh. Does Runa have... No, those are just two mob palaces. That's definitely the, uh... I like the script. Is the legitimacy mechanic update live in this playthrough? Are you saying you're going to change things during the Holocron? I mean, a lot of that we've shown off in the Empire playthrough, how you change... Like, how you uh, get Dark Empire and everything. That we did a lot of in the... In the Imperial one that just ended. There's a few things that have been polished off a bit more since then, but... That's, like, the Dark Empire-related stuff is... The bulk of those changes. Okay, I wonder if we'll be able to kill progress. I don't know. So people are talking about in chat Ariadu's fighter setup. So they have a lot of really good fighters, but their anti fighter frigates don't tend to be as good. Because they're not supposed to be particularly fighter-focused themselves, so the, uh... So, them having good fighters is basically meant to be their anti-fighter. So they can kind of keep the fighters and bombers closer to home while their battle cruisers do most of the damage. I don't know if we'll be able to... Kill this guy. What are... Just an ISD-1. They don't have too many fighters themselves, so we don't need to worry about our bombers. No, what are you doing? You're getting too close. Well, that one's dead. I'm not sure which one it was. We've still got Temparis, and we've got Vigil. Okay, uh, you need to get the medium there. You need to get the heavy. And you can get that medium. Then you get the medium in the middle. The Malcolm in the middle. So we can kill Rogress and then maybe even get out with one or two of these guys. I'll consider that pretty successful. We'll have to turn up there. Because I don't want... Ooh. Go around that way. The Allegiance is trying to come up too. I mean, even if we lose the frigates, we can kill... Rogress. That's not horrible. I'd just rather keep them if I can. I think, I think we're good. So let's try to get out. Hi, Rogress. The heroes are probably close to the only capital ships that uh, either we have or they have at the start of the campaign right now. So... We'll, we might need to bring up Delvardis to protect the north. I was kind of assuming we'd lose Runa. We lost the studio, and the end is nigh. I'm, I'm just going to retreat. Hmm. It, it, we're, we're gone. There they are. That's not their best commander for the playthrough, but it's... 
a really good early one for them. They can still get Thrawn. This is progressive. The regional campaigns are progressive. They're just localized. So we can technically get Dark Empire again if we are able to beat them down. Okay, uh, I guess Quachristic probably needs to be taken if we're going to reunite all the forces there. Well, step one, we need to need to stay focused. Glova is, oops, I say stay focused and then zoom into the wrong planet. We need to take Glova. We can end up with the Eclipse attacking dinosaurs. Alright, we have one H's, one M's, one L's, and we have ATMPs. What else do you really need? Okay, we don't have the most money in the world, so I'm gonna... I'm not gonna build... Too many build pads or field bases for this. I don't know... I don't think we'll need them. Yeah, the dinosaurs went extinct when the Eclipse cracked the Earth's mantle. That's also what made the Grand Canyon. It was just a, a missed super laser shot from the Eclipse too. Let's get these guys into the battle. Uh, Phyloraptor's been working on actually a lot of little hut skiffs. A lot of fresh new hut skiff types. For point four, or yeah, for point four once we get the huts moving. So there's going to be just so much stuff, like day one, that's ready for the huts. As soon as the, the next release happens, it's just going to be... All new units going in for us. You guys don't get to play with yet. Okay. I assumed we'd be running into the bulk of the the enemy forces over this way, but then we just went and lost a tank. It's only one one out though. It's not going to be the end of the world. Okay. If you're not already taking cover, you got to take cover. And maybe even get another landing zone. You've got to be coming in. Okay, get over the river. And... Get the... Was that T1A? Or T3A, rather? Not T1A. Okay. It's dead. Uh, maybe I'll send the mediums all that way. And send the one light with them, all the missiles and the heavies off the other direction. So I guess we're bringing down more companies than them, so we can just send everything, all the vehicles that we already have, up the other way. Alright, sky phrasing. Very inappropriate things happening in chat. Uh, this is actually, this is the final stream of the year, which is kind of sad, uh, because... Yeah. Because it means I'm not streaming later this afternoon or tomorrow night. I've got to get you guys out of there a little bit, and get you guys up there a little bit. The Chariot Labs are really, like, I think people underestimate them for their anti-vehicle damage. Gotta be a little bit careful on that. But these one else can come back up. There's nothing you're not you're not shooting at anything. There's nothing there. It's, it's fine. Like there's 
nothing back. Oh wait, there is something there. I lied. You're just standing really close to the thing, and so you're shooting the thing instead. So technically you are shooting at anything. Now you shot at him, and he's dead. Thank you. Yay. I'm not actually sure when this episode's even going. Maybe today. Alright, we're not building the capital on every planet. Uh, these guys are okay in the south. We probably do want another shipyard, though. A regular shipyard. Ignore ignore that for now. Uh, yeah, let's give Ariadu a shipyard. Because, you know, her capital. It can have nice things. And... I think we want to move these ones into Kristak. Ooh. Okay, that is a lot of infantry, so I guess they didn't have the problem we had. Hmm. So, this... I don't know, I think this might be doable, but the fact that I don't want to build field bases or turrets right now... Because uh, I, I don't think we necessarily save the planet... I do lean into towards the environmentalist side, but like saving this planet is not I don't care about it as much as Earth. Just give me a target. Reporting. Move out. Let's see if we can get up to the mine. Okay, ready. Rolling out. Order acknowledged. Ready for recon. We can control some landing zones. On my way. Affirmative. Move into position. Uh I think I actually want the majority of our 1Ls over there. Well, we've actually, we've got a ton already. What state will the Avethans be in for point three? Though they should be their own faction again. They're not going to be playable again. That'll be either point four or point five. They'll essentially be where they are now, but having their slot back. The X fours. Uh, I want the missiles over on this side. Uh, where can I get? It's not good. Well, I really want that, so I have to. Kind of just hope for the best. All right. Shoot the AT ATs, please. I'd like to flank them, but need. I guess we can try to come around, but the problem is flanking them requires going through the their landing zone. Yeah. May as well overclock the vehicle weapons. It may may cause my CPU to overheat. Hey, it's turning around. Okay. Gotta get out of there. No, you, you can leave. Thank you, Rival, for subscribing. Very appreciated. Any other unplayable faction that will get their own slot? I mean, most of the future playable factions are getting their slot in point three. So... Yes. I was hoping to have these in response, but... Okay, well, let's just kill the PX4, because it's closer. Like, in every way. Closer to death. Closer to our units. Oh, it's so close. Come on. It's nearly dead. Oh, well. Gotta get out of there. Maybe we can sneak in, get the capturable. Uh, 
Moving to position. He's sending everything. New coordinates. Was it only the two AT-ATs total? Like that landing everything they had? I don't trust that you're not going to get murdered by this AT-80. -AT. There it is. Don't go in so fast. Okay, well, never mind. You, you have no... You're there. Oh, well, it looks like we found their Firehawks. I'm not sure why they're... So keen on guarding the landing zone, though. Ooh, shit. That's not good. Just uh, get get further up. Get further up. Everyone, go immediately. Ah, I guess we killed them all on the way. Okay, let's try to hold them at this corner. We might be able to do a little bit better if we're taking them individually like this. Okay, let's just avoid the AT-AT. Come around that way. Everyone, for some reason, I thought I was selecting infantry and plussing take cover. I got up very recently. It's not my fault. I stayed up yesterday or two days ago, I guess now, doing the uh, the Imperial Guide. I worked on that. Like I, I wanted to finish that, so I, I was working on it from like midnight to 7 a.m. Took slightly longer than I expected. So that that's really thrown off my my sleep coming into 2023. Should have just stayed up until next year. Okay, let's. Uh... Oh, you! How dare you! I needed those. Alright, well... <laughs> the minor factions that we wish we could add to one of mobs, we just don't have the resources. I mean, we get to most of the stuff that we really want to. Like the, the, we're getting to the point that, like, the minor factions for TR especially that we don't have but might want to add are just mostly things that'd be kind of funny. Like the guy in cough, maybe we'll get there. Let's go. Copy. Keep going. Arvin is Copy. in. See if we can carbon him up. It's more like, oh, can we do uh, early Hapens or Laurel Raiders for Revan's Revenge? We get more craft stuff done for them. Eternal Fleet. Like, it's Revenge Revenge that has more question marks on things we could do than TR or even FOTR. Early Hape and stuff applies. Is like, we do that in All the Republic as well. Armor ready. Uh, yeah, I don't think that's going to be viable to kill. Maybe if we just... Yeah, don't don't get stuck behind him. We'll see if they split up between some of the buildings. But at least the chariots are going to be kind of fragile. We don't really have much that can still do anti-vehicle damage, though.
I was Imperial Reigns everywhere. It's not something that's like actively being worked on. It's something where like I'll have ideas sometimes, I'll do some prototyping of stuff, but we're not actively working on Imperial Reign until after the first version of Revenge Revenge is out. And even then it's still gonna be just me for probably a couple months where I'm working on prototyping stuff. Mm. Alright. I think they win. Well, that sucks. I kind of... That went a little bit better than I actually expected it to. So, I'm not... I'm not upset there. We'll see if we can take... Quat Christic. Oh, well, looks like we do have some infantry other places, just not in that southern army that we had. Then at least they won't be able to invade... Is it Wooster that's next to it? Alright. Hublin. Then we have Superior Strike Cruiser. Ditto... Free repair kit. Delvardis can go in behind. Understood. Your Ayahu. Starforge. Duly constituted authority. Base Toblerone. Battle Rager. Hey, buddy, I think you got the wrong door. Raider. Spear of Judgment. Uriah, what? And Pack Leader. So I think I'm going to try to go west rather than north. So rather than take out the Empire first, we're going to try to get over to Bakura. Because I want the... Uh, I want the Namanas and Bakuras because a bunch of people didn't pick those. And then I want to fight some dinosaurs. Because I'm sure people wanted to pick those. Gladiator at your command. Turbo lasers are firing, sir. Well, a lot easier with the Praetor to kill a single frigate in a low-level station. Once we're a bit more connected here, we're probably going to slow down on moving into the northern stuff. Okay, I want these guys as well. Actually, I want all of them. And I want to save. Oh, fuck, I spelled it wrong. Rip. Don't look at it. Don't look at it. Fine. Fine. Would this story get campaign events or story missions? I mean, there's not like a, a set plan for what's going where, but like as a progressive map, anything that goes in the universally progressive stuff would be viable here, uh, plus eventually any specific missions we end up adding. Like, there's not any anything that we've ruled out for that, but we don't have like a full roadmap of every map, every map that will get what. Like, ideally we want some narrative stuff everywhere, but it's time consuming and kind of resource intensive. So who knows when that'll happen or what the extent of it will be anywhere in particular. Yeah, when the so when the the patch came out, I was it was while I was in Halifax, and I'd known they'd been sitting on it for so long because they have a bunch of modders that they run some of the stuff by, uh, and I couldn't say anything about it, but like literally the day I left, they they released it. So I made the video on it in a hotel room, in my hotel room in Halifax, which is part of why it sounds terrible. But then I saw like, uh, there were a couple of people joking about me making a video on a, a two 
two-line patch notes in Shack server. Like, I don't think you guys understand just how fucking annoying it's been for years. <laughs> Need that down first. Okay, the repair station wasn't gonna save that pop. It might save this ATBT. What happened to the raid fleets? Is there a chance for the comeback of this mechanic? So not it's not coming back in the form it was. There will be three ra three way battles again in some form, but uh, they were cut specifically when they were because all the rosters got redone and the CSA one was crashing so rather than spending all the time to debug it it was something that we'd always plan to redo because uh, just like RNG based spawn fleets in the battle that have no connection to anything else wasn't the best it was just like the easiest way to do three way battles in the game and the determination was like having three way battles that are kind of exploitable and not ideal is better than having uh, no three-way battles because three-way battles are fun but they were always just like a kind of prototype thing so eventually there will be another form of three-way battle but there won't be the return of raid fleets as they were Yeah, I'm gonna try to keep the Wells back a bit. Okay, don't go too far up because we want the ATAT -AT to come in. And let's get the landing zone with them. Yeah, the idea for when three-way battles of some kind come back is to have it worked more into the actual state of the galaxy. So there's either they're either caused by things going on on the galactic map, or uh, they have effects on the galactic map. Because ultimately, since it was just pure RNG, uh, it had nothing to do with the the state of the galaxy. It, whether you won or not didn't really impact it. You could either retreat or you could just let the uh, the raid fleet fight against the uh, fight against your enemy force and then go in afterwards especially if you use Pathfinder stuff. Like, we knew it was exploitable but if it weren't for the added uh added work in trying to update the code. We probably would have just left them until we had a, a better implementation, but as it was, it just wasn't worth it for the time investment. We did have, uh, Miek and Charlie had the, the Christmas stream. That was on the 22nd. We just didn't do a stream this week because Ek is busy. And Charlie's birthday was yesterday, or the day before. So Charlie's getting ready for a trip, and he's trying to work on getting videos done in advance, allegedly. We're all fine. I've been trying to fiddle more with the retreat desire. We're both spanning, spanned, space and ground, space and land, it's bound and ground. But that's always the kind of thing that can be finicky. The idea, like the intent, is that if they've got like few units left and they don't have any structures, they should just leave. But then sometimes it goes too far in either direction, and they just like leave as soon as you kill one unit or. Uh, they end up not leaving at all. So that gets pretty much tuned throughout development. Even if it was like, sometimes it'll be working fine for a while, and then it ends up needing other changes later. Check it out. 
I think the... They might have field bases on both of these landing zones. That's probably keeping them here. But we've got our first enemy planet. Okay, you don't need to take over. You can just run up to the... Next zone. There might still be a good chunk of infantry up somewhere. Alright, let's go bombard the field base up there. Nope, never mind. We don't need to. We already got it. It's good. Top honors in my class at Rythel, and I never believed the Empire would end up like this. Your recent performance in its name has impressed me unlike that of the other pretenders. I'm pleased to offer you my services. Alright, so we got our first legitimacy group. Uh, how much am I paying for you? 2,000? We could pay 2,000. I don't know if we will pay 2,000 just yet. But we're, we're, we'll get there. Uh, I think I have to... No, I don't want to move them around. I, w I want them at Sinrafsic still. We need this fleet taking care of the independent forces. Else of this, we need to connect. Right. So I'm going to save again, and that, I think, is going to do it for our first episode. We're going to record one more here on Twitch, but for those of you watching on YouTube, thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the first episode of this brand new series, and hope to see you next time. Bye, everyone.